Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable or remove the Steam Guard on your Steam application. So if you do not want to receive notifications when you have to re-enter back in your credentials after signing out of Steam, and you need an email notification with a code in order to get back on, as long as you have your username and password, basically you can get into Steam. That is what we are going to be showing in today's tutorial. If that is all you need, you don't want any sort of two-factor authentication, basically, is what it amounts to. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up Steam, select the Steam tab up at the top left, and then go down and select Settings. On the left side, you want to select the Security option. And on the right side, you want to go where it says Steam Guard. You want to go ahead and select the Manage Steam Guard button. And you see there are three options here. So get Steam Guard codes from Steam Apple on your phone. You can get Steam Guard codes by email. And you can also just turn off Steam Guard here. And then once you've done that, you just will go ahead and, and select Disable Steam Guard. And then it will require an email confirmation to disable the Steam Guard. So just hold on one moment. I'm going to open up my email here. Okay, so off screen, I just got an email. I just took a screenshot of it, and I have it on my desktop here. I just brought it back into the window here. So this is the email I just got. It's going to ask we receive the request from your account to disable the Steam Guard. If it was you, click the button to confirm. Again, this was sent to my email. So actually, this is all off screen here. I'm going to go ahead and select that Disable Steam Guard button. And it says Steam Guard disabled. Steam Guard has now been disabled on your account. You may close this window. So again, that's what's going on off screen here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.